I bet a lot of you are using Microsoft Windows at home, and that is not a platform that Claude Code supports at this time. So what you're going to have to do is either use Microsoft Windows WSL, their Linux emulation layer, if you will, or if you have access to a, an Ubuntu system or a Linux system. If not, though, you're going to have to set up a virtual machine on Windows to let you run Ubuntu or some Linux variant within your Windows environment. First thing you're going to want to do is go to virtualbox.org. This is going to be a handy little uh, virtualization environment that's free. So go ahead and click on the download button, wherever that might be. And you want to download the Windows host. Now, as soon as you click on that button, it's going to start downloading the installer for VirtualBox. I'm not going to waste your time showing you how to do that. Just accept all the defaults, let it do its thing, and then start up VirtualBox when it's done. So I have already installed it. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. And here we have the VirtualBox manager. So now we need a image of an operating system to install here. This is just a virtualization environment. It's not Ubuntu itself. You can see I have one there already, but um, that's from before. So if you are new to this, you're going to want to go to ubuntu.com as your next step. And from here, go to download Ubuntu and download Ubuntu desktop. And we want the latest and greatest long-term support version. At the time of this recording, it's 24.04. .04. For you, it might be 25 something. Go ahead and hit download. And about six gigabytes later, you'll be done. All right, so now that you have the ISO image downloaded for Ubuntu 24 or whatever version it is, let's go ahead and get that set up in VirtualBox. So back to my VirtualBox manager, and we're going to go ahead and click on New. We're going to give it a name. Let's call it, I don't know, whatever you want, uh, Claude Playground, whatever you want. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a folder to store its stuff in. Just make sure that that's a place that has adequate disk space. And let's go ahead and select the ISO image that we just downloaded. So other, and there it is. It should be in your downloads folder. And it should automatically detect that that's a Linux type with Ubuntu 64-bit. If not, go ahead and change those if you need to. And under unattended install, we're gonna come up with a default username and password. So I don't know, student, whatever you wanna be. Give yourself a password that you're not going to forget. Make sure you can type it repeatedly. And we also want to make sure that guest editions are installed. That's going to let us uh, copy stuff back and forth inside and outside of our virtual environment, and also make sure we can resize the screen more easily. Let's open up the hardware area here. Give a little bit more memory. Um, I've got uh, 16 gigs on this system. We'll go ahead and give it eight. Because I'm feeling generous. And we'll give it uh, four CPUs because I have 24 to spare. All right, let's finish. And now it's going to spark that up and it's going to install Ubuntu from scratch in my virtual environment. 